In this video, we will discuss how to make MCQs paper in LaTeX. The paper pattern will be such that for each paper, we will have its respective key and the keys can be generated in different manners. We can have the option to generate only the paper with no key or we can generate it with a short key or this is also possible that we generate only one key and rest of the papers can be checked with respect to that key. So we will proceed with this. In order to proceed with the MCQs based paper, we will consider the document class is the 12 point and the document class is exam design and exam design it depends on our installation we can either download it directly from the internet that i write exam design in latic and i can download it directly from the c10 so it will be downloaded and then one can install it from the download directory the other way is to go to the mactic console and start the Mactic console with administrative privileges. And here, go to package. And under the package, I will write exam design. And here it is. So I will right click this one and I will install this package and it will be installed in a moment but in most of the cases depending on the installation it will be automatically installed when the computer will be connected to the internet so let's start with the exam design these are the packages that we will use here in this paper. The MS Math, MS Font and the Pi Font. So they are for the general mathematics. And this section is defining the environment of the paper. This is an important section which is the number of versions. So we will have to define the number of versions here. For example, here I have defined number of versions is 3. When we are first designing our paper, then we will have to make it as 1 so that only one copy is generated. The maximum we can go up to 26 because it will generate from A to Z and the number of alphabets are 26. So the maximum number of copies it can generate are 26. To increase the number of copies then this different environment will be required so this all is the design structure of the paper and we will change nothing over here then come to the title page of the paper inside the title page we are having the class and here I'm writing the large font size and I write University of Bishar, then Department of Physics and then I write the exam paper. So all this is the related to the title page and it is having the large font size. And here this is form A. Form A means that this is the one version or the first version of the paper. Here I have selected 26, so it will generate 26, but for the start of the paper, we will have to keep it at 1, so that only one copy is generated, and as we repeatedly will build this one, so there will be less number of pages here. Now let's come to the second portion, and this is also the portion of exam tab, and here we define the environment that for example the width of this column and the lines that are drawn over there 
with the help of H fill. Better not to change anything here, but if we need to change something, then we can define the size of the columns. For example, here, this is having the size 3.5 inch and we can change this one according to our requirement. So as I build it, then you see that the size has been reduced to 3 inches. Now here, this is the important thing which we can modify. For example, I need the student name here, the roll number, signature, discipline and date here. So if additional data is required, then we can change here. And tell here we are having the title of our paper. And now from this point onward, our document will begin. So we are having begin document and this document will end at the end of the document. Similarly, begin multiple choice question and then end multiple choice question at the end. And in between this, we will have after the begin multiple choice question, we can write the instructions for the paper. And here are those instructions. Now we can start with our question. So our question will be actually in between begin question and end question. This is the statement of our question. And then the options will be is slash choice and all the options will be here and the right answer we will just mark this one with exclamation mark in square brackets so the LaTeX will know that this is the right answer similarly we can write another question and then we will write the choices the choices i am keeping four it can be increased to five are other choices so similarly, this way I will write all my question as many as I want and then I will end the document. Now I can build the paper. And here is the paper. So we are having the title here and then the student details here and this is form A. Form A means that this is the first version, the instructions and then the questions. Similarly, our paper consisting of three questions is done here and now on the page number will be over there and on the second page we will have the answer key by default to those questions. So it is the same question paper and the answers have been enclosed in a box. And this is the default setting. We haven't given any option for the answer keys yet. And it has generated form form for form A. Its respective key is solution paper A. Now if I change the version to 3, then I built the document and we can see that it has increased the number of pages. And here we are having form A. And it is having its respective solution key is form A. Then we are having form B because we have generated three versions of this paper and it is the respective key. Similarly form C and it is having its own respective solution key. Now we can look at the questions. Here I am having the first question is the white light passes splits in how many colors. So here are the options. And now I can go into another paper. For example, let's say I go to the, this is the solution. So I go to know the next paper. Let's say I go to paper C. 
and here the first question is no not that one but it is a different question so the questions have been shuffled now if i give 26 version then you see so it has generated 52 pages and 26 are the papers and 26 are the keys Here for each paper it has generated its own key and up to Z we are having the papers and their keys. So the maximum number of versions we can generate here are 26. Now let me go on with uh, some options for keys. For example, I give it slash no key and it will only generate the paper and there will be no key so i have just this a here and then b and no key is there so with just this option slash no key all the keys have been removed if i comment this one and give it another option for example, let's say I want to generate one key only. So I will write one key and this key will be, I can utilize for the others, but I should have the solutions in mind because the questions will be shuffled. Now it has generated form A and then it will have only solution for form A and here it is while for form B it will have no key and then it is having the third version form C and it is having no key for it so this is one way that if we prefer to generate one key only then it will generate for form A only another way is that I comment this one and I start with a short key which is very preferable and it can save many pages as well this is short key keep in mind that in every form of key we will have to keep the letters is capital like one key short key no key so as i build this one then here i can see that this is form a and now it will have a solution a is form a and the keys are like this the short keys so we will have to keep this in mind to keep the letter capital otherwise the keys will not be generated and here as well for form b and similarly for the last and third version which is c it is having its respective key like this so these are the three options with which we can play with the different formats for keys so i am writing here key options and as i will provide this template with this video so you can edit it according to your need and you can utilize it now if a question is such that we are having a figure with the question as well for example the question is what kind of bond is shown in this figure so we are having the figure and here are the options so for such including such a question we will have to first go here so we will have to include this package which is the graphics package and now i go to the question and the question is here so here i have the same format and the format is the begin question and end question and in between the question is what kind of bond is shown in this figure so till here is my statement 
and then I will write slash include graphics the usual way of including a figure or an image this is the scale which I will look at the image size and then I will design or select the scale and this is the image which I have for the bond these are the choices and this is the right choice in the other options and I will just build my paper and here it is as I have selected the number of versions is 1 so it has designed only paper A and here 1, 2, 3 questions are there so let's see here and here are the questions and as I can see here what kind of bond is shown in this figure so the figure is here with it and we are having the options here now if for example I want to generate many versions of this then for that I will go to the number of versions and here the number of versions are let's say I design 10 papers and I build this so now see here that in the paper A we are having this is question number 3 this is the solution key and here in the second paper again it is at question number 3 while the first two were shuffled while in paper C this question has gone to question number 2 so I can see here that the question has been shuffled and the figure is included with the question so it is unlike the LaTeX default setting that the figure is either at the top or at the end of a page so it goes on with the question and similarly in another pattern the questions will be shuffled again now here it has come to question number one so the same thing we can follow here for the figure as well now this one thing we will have to keep in mind that we will have to generate the PDF with the answer keys and for all the required formats because every time we generate it it will have different questions order and that will make us difficult to trace the questions then so we will have to generate the whole document and then we will extract the solution from it and I select the delete option after extraction so here I am having all the solutions now and over there I am having all the questions so the document is to be generated this way otherwise it is not possible that we generate the key different uh, key in another option and the question paper separately this will create a problem so we will have to generate the whole document and then we will have to split the keys from the paper thank you for watching the video